There are currently seven Giga Coasters operating around the world. The first one opened in 2000, while the newest one debuted in July of 2020. Giga Coasters haven't become as commonplace over 20 years as Hyper Coasters did, and for very good reason. These are massive rides that require ridiculous amounts of planning, approval, materials, space, and money. Five of these Giga Coasters are located at Cedar Fair Parks in North America, with the other two being located at Nagashima Spa Land in Japan and Ferrari Land in Spain. With Cedar Fair already having a Giga at all of their major parks and Six Flags investing in cheaper coasters, there doesn't seem to be many options for another park that would be willing to build a Giga Coaster. However, I think there could be a few. Today, I'm going to discuss a few parks that I think potentially could be contenders for a Giga Coaster in the coming years. As usual with videos like these, this is all speculation and my opinion, so take all of this with a huge grain of salt. There are four parks I want to discuss that I think could have a shot at getting a Giga in the future. The first one is a bit of an asterisk because of something we heard about several months back. That is Busch Gardens Williamsburg. Busch Gardens Williamsburg was actually all but confirmed at one point to be building an Intamin Shuttle Giga Coaster with a huge spike standing at over 300 feet tall. This project really seems to be up in the air at this point though due to circumstances the world is in right now, and BGW didn't even have the opportunity to open their new Intamin multi-launch Pantheon this year, as they were supposed to. This shuttle Giga is definitely off the shelf for 2021 at this point, but whether or not this project sees the light of day remains to be seen. This was such a weird project to learn about when the planning documents were leaked early this year. Pantheon was slated to open this year and is another Intamin multi-launch coaster with forwards and backwards sections, while this shuttle Giga coaster, nicknamed Drakenspire by enthusiasts, mimics a lot of similar features to Pantheon, making it seem very redundant at the park. This led to speculation that perhaps at one point, Pantheon and Drakenspire were intended to be one huge project that crossed over the Rhine River. Due to plans for this year being halted, I really wouldn't be surprised if Drakenspire ultimately gets scrapped altogether. And this doesn't really bother me either. This potential Giga shuttle coaster, as I mentioned, just seems so redundant with a brand new Pantheon which hasn't even opened yet being in the same park. The leaked blueprint layout of this Giga wasn't all too creative either, which left me ultimately pretty underwhelmed. There is another park, however, related to BGW, that I think could have a shot at getting a great Giga coaster in the future. Busch Gardens Tampa. Busch Gardens Tampa does have a height limit of 200 feet if I'm not mistaken, but they've received approval to build beyond this in the past with Falcon's Fury and Iron Gwazi. I could actually see BGT having a Giga Coaster built similarly to Orion. If they're not able to build up to the 300 foot mark, they could maybe get approval to build 250 or 275 feet for example, then dig below the ground to achieve a 300 foot drop. This could help to save on material and construction costs as well. It would maybe be around the same length of Orion as well, in order to help keep costs down. I certainly wouldn't expect something as massive as Fury, but imagine how well a Giga Coaster would work here to complement an already stellar lineup. If BGT were to build a B&M or Intamin Giga Coaster along the lines of Intimidator 305 or Orion, that would draw tons of people to Tampa to visit this park if they weren't already planning on making it a destination. While I do think a Giga Coaster has a fair shot for the future at BGT, I don't see this happening very soon for obvious reasons, probably more like 5-10 to 10 years down the road. This is one where I'm a bit on the fence though. One park that I absolutely had to address in this small list is Poland's Energylandia. This park, which only just opened in 2014, has seen an unreal rise to stardom in the amusement industry, with the theme park being home to a whopping 15 coasters, with three more under construction to open in 2021. This park has begun to add some real elite coasters to their lineup in the form of the ground-up RMC Hyper Hybrid known as Zadra, the gigantic Intamin Hyper in Hyperion, and the very first Vacoma Shockwave model being well underway for 2021, which will be known as Abyssus, and looks to be a stellar coaster as well. What is even more crazy though perhaps to think about is what a Giga Coaster at Energylandia could potentially look like. They are not afraid to take on some really bold moves with the rate they've been adding coasters along with the sheer scale of recent additions. 
I'm sure there would be nothing holding them back from adding a B&M Giga in the vein of Orion or Leviathan, but they've worked a lot with Vekoma, Intamin, and more recently, RMC, so I think it may be much more likely to see something by Intamin or even RMC. Vekoma hasn't even built a Hyper at this point, though we know they are willing to do so, so I'm leaving Vekoma out of the discussion for a Giga, even though that wouldn't shock me too much either, given the huge moves this park makes when adding new cutting edge coasters. Plus, they have added many Vekomas in the past and are still working with them currently. Basically, there's not much I wouldn't consider for this park, knowing their crazy history and their mere six years of operation. It really seems the sky's the limit with Energy Landia. The last park that comes to mind, which I'd like to discuss, is Fuji-Q Highland. This amazing looking park in Japan already has a pretty impressive lineup of intense, record smashing coasters, and they have announced they would be opening a new coaster for the year 2022 at an amount which equals almost 34.5 million US dollars. So this project, whatever it is, will be huge. It is worth noting that coasters in Japan have to be built with earthquake resistance in mind, which often leads to more hefty price tags. It still seems though that a Giga coaster may be feasible with that budget. This park has built some insane coasters in the past and they go all out. Imagine if they were to bring in Intamin to work their magic and build something along the lines of I-305 with a twisting layout that stays low to the ground, weaving through the largely developed park. That is one issue though with putting a Giga here, that being space. However, maybe this Giga would be more like a Red Force, which takes up a skinny, albeit long, plot of land. Given Fuji-Q's history, I think they would be a park very willing to take on a crazy project of the scale, whether it be an accelerator style coaster or a more traditional Giga. This could also give people a reason to come to Fuji-Q Highland instead of Nagashima Spa Land while visiting Japan, because Nagashima's Giga Coaster, Steel Dragon 2000, is 20 years old at this point, and creating a new, more extreme Giga Coaster at Fuji-Q Highland could create healthy competition in the Japanese theme park industry, which would be awesome to see. Let me know what you think about my picks, and where you think a Giga may be built in the future, if at all. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this at least once a week. Be sure to check out my Teespring store as well, linked in the description, where you can help to directly support my channel, which is very much appreciated. Thanks so much for watching. This is Coaster Daddy. Bye.